My, how you've grown. Those clothes become you. You look just like Ricketts when he was a young lad. This is a tale of the kingdom of Gehenna Pali that stretched across these lands long ago. Once upon a time, Prince Menek, son of King Karis, set out with his vassals to hunt in the forest. But in the forest they were enveloped by a thick fog and the prince lost his way. Wandering aimlessly about, he happened upon a marsh from which grew an enormous tree. Thereupon he heard the sound of sobbing, but he knew not from where. He found a maiden sitting all alone. She was weeping by the marsh. I am Alcana. I just buried my mother here in the marsh of Uban, she said. And then she looked up at the prince. He was overwhelmed by her beautiful eyes. The maiden stole his heart that day. It was truly a fateful meeting. Thereafter, the prince made frequent trips into the forest. Undoubtedly, he was paying visits to the maiden. The maiden had a strange power. She could talk to the insects and trees. Before long, there began a terrible rumor that the prince's heart had been stolen by a witch. One day the maiden spun silk from fairy cocoons and wove it into a beautiful cloth for the king. But the brilliance of that cloth cast a shadow upon the kingdom. The king was so enthralled by the fairy silk that he sent his soldiers into the forest where they ravaged for fairy cocoons. Fairies, still in their cocoons, were boiled alive. The king killed them so he could have their silk. The prince pleaded with his father to stop his cruelty. But the king was no longer the man he had once been. Prince Menek was charged with treason and imprisoned in the king's deepest dungeon. He was never heard from again. When the maiden learned of the prince's death, she cursed her fate and lamented the foolishness of man. She then cast herself away into the marsh where her mother lay. As she started to drown, a voice from nowhere whispered to her, I am Elram. I shall grant you your wish. Tell me what you want, said the voice. The maiden told Elram all that weighed upon her heart. The maiden said, greed bears destructive knowledge. Its wicked power shall be the end of the forest. Our hope is lost. The beasts of knowledge shall never live in peace with the forest. The one light of hope who I so loved has perished at the hands of the beasts. I now go to where my love Menek awaits. Thereupon, Elrum spoke again. So you claim that your true love was torn asunder by the greed and hatred of the beasts of knowledge? When light is swallowed up by darkness, I shall unleash ruin upon the land, returning all to the nothingness from whence it came. I have a firm grip upon the darkness in your heart. From that day forward, Demons appeared in the forest, terrifying all they came upon, and the kingdom of Gehenna Pali fell to ruin by the swarms of Onibubu, locusts of apocalypse. The demons that haunt the forest now are the beasts spawned by the greed in man's heart. Well, that is the end of the story. I know you're busy, but come by any time. I shall always be here.
Ever since yesterday, the forest has been stirring restlessly. You must be careful. Do not go seeking an early death. You are our last hope. I heard what Mother Garai said, but I don't like any of it. I mean, you of all people, just because Raquettes is your dad, you'll just go into the forest and get eaten by monsters. 
Is your flute really that powerful? That's so lame! Ha! I'll go get the calabash myself! Just wait right here! No can do, little guy. I know how you feel, Louis, but you can't go. You can seek your revenge at some other time. Besides, you know how scary the forest is, right? And how little we can do there. Shouldn't you be talking to Louie rather than me? to understand how he feels. Ever since his parents were killed in the forest, all he's ever thought about is slaying those monsters. He may be cocky, but in his own way, he's just trying to be a man. So, he's now a magnificent cocoon master. It's all happened so fast. Take good care of Mabu ever make her cry. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming after you, buddy. Well, better get going and save the village. You do your best out there. Look. Yeah. 